Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dev AV Club. We are in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to do the color pop or color isolation effect uh, for video. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, if you've been following along, this is not the WandaVision tutorial uh, for like item color isolation. That's a bit different, but this is a stepping stone to that. So uh, first off, let's go to the video effect, and um, we're going to go to the color corrector secondary, and this is going to do the majority of it for us. If you go to the desaturate all but reds, now if you wonder more about how the color corrector secondary works, I highly recommend you check out my Vegas Pro tutorial about how to do color grading uh, because that shows you more uh, the really big details about the color corrector secondary. Even though you won't have the vector scopes in Movie Studio, you will ha definitely have the same tool and understanding what is happening behind the scenes is super important. So if we grab desaturate all reds and throw it on here, it does the majority of the work for us. Now, I'm going to uh, go to this limit hue part of it because we're not really going to need the rest of this. We're just going to go to the limit hue. Hue is another word for color, and we're going to change where it's centered, uh, how much color we're grabbing, and how smoothly it uh, desaturates the rest of the color. So I'm going to jump to my Vegas Pro tutorial where I have a vector scope so you can see some of the behind the scenes. You do not need a vector scope to do this tutorial. You can 100% do this in Movie Studio, no issues, but I just want you to understand what's going on behind the scenes so you can make better decisions while you're doing it. So color has a range to it uh, and what we're doing is we're limiting the range that's going to stay saturated. Anything in this circle here uh, of this vector scope would be black and white. So as it goes out in another direction or another vector, like a vector scope, if it goes out in another vector it is another color. So if it's blue, cyan, green, yellow, like I said, covered more in uh, my color grading tutorial. Uh, so what we're doing is we're essentially flattening out everything except for one band, one vector of color. So how wide this band is or where this band sitting is done by the center effects. So with the center, you're changing where the centering of this effect is. You can see how it rotates around, it kind of has a rotation. Um, so if you want want it to be a little more towards the yellows and reds you move it this direction and then at green the yellow green area is where it loops back so here's one half of it and then on the other side on this left side here is the other half of it um, so that'll matter more in just a minute so here we are back over the reds kind of land squarely in the reds here that's how you pick your color. With the width, you can change how, like, bre the breadth of the color you're grabbing here. So, man, the vector scope visualizes this very well. Um, so, if you want to grab more reds and kind of, you kind of work these two things together to get just the red and to cut out the other colors, like the orange there. So that was in Vegas Pro. We're back to Movie Studio here. So we're going to uh, change the center just a little bit to get it a little bit more on uh, the kind of reds we want, a little bit away from the oranges there, uh, and uh, change the width just a little bit too to get a little more of the apple in there. And I think that is good. Now we've got a nice red apple. Um, and what if we wanted to have greens instead of red. Well, like I said, this is like a color wheel. Um, so we can move this over to the right or the left for green. The green ends over here and starts over here. So uh, we're going to move uh, to the left. I just know that starting on the left is a little better, um, but right would also be a good place for greens. Now it almost does it all already with our settings we have, but you see some of the grapes are still a little bit black and white, a little bit desaturated. So we can change the width of it too to grab a wider breadth of color and the smoothing to kind of choke it down. This is your choke, um, how, how quickly it transitions um, between colors that you're trying to desaturate. So we're going to choke it a little bit, um, but try and widen up the amount of greens we're catching, but choke out the oranges. And if you hold control, you can move these dials slower or use your mouse wheel too. 
So that's about as good as I'm going to get the greens. Um, you can always uh, dial this in more and do other color corrections and things on top of it to help with your color popping. There's one last piece though. Let's go back to the uh, desaturate all but reds and um, choke it down just a little bit again. There we go. So now we've got the red apples, but we've also, if you notice, there's a, something red in the corner uh, that that really pops now too. And at the very end here, there's these stakes uh, or something, and they're red and gray now, which is really gross. And so if we wanted to highlight the apples, uh, all we've done is now we've highlighted multiple things, including some gross looking stakes. So to fix that, we're going to delete this picture and picture track, get it out of the way. Um, you can always make more picture-in-picture -picture tracks later by just dragging and dropping the picture-in-picture -picture effect to a track or to an individual clip, um, but that is another tutorial. Uh, this, however, let's go ahead and grab the Bezier masking, and we're going to grab the circle, and we're going to drop it on here, and uh, we're going to just kind of grab the plate. A little bit more than the plate. And let's go to the mask options here. Let's open this up so you can see what we're doing. And the feather style, let's feather out. And there we go. Center it a little bit more on the plate itself. A little more out feather. All right. And we're going to just track the location. Uh, and we're going to manually track this. It's too simple to motion track. Um, motion tracking would work fine, but you can see the motion tracking would be down here. That's another tutorial. I have multiple tutorials about that for Movie Studio 17, um, but I want to just do a manual track. Sometimes it's just not worth fooling with motion tracking. So uh, we're going to go to the Animate tab and go to the beginning of the clip there. And here we can now start creating keyframes because this lock uh, sync cursor to media is selected and uh, wherever I put it on the screen it's going to be and so we're just going to kind of jump to some key parts here it doesn't have to be exact we're going to jump to some key parts of the camera moving Right there, it's not quite enough. Kind of just spot check myself, make sure everything's moving along like it should, and it is. All right, here's where it gets fun. Um, this clip now has just uh, everything highlighted, but we want to bring the rest of the video back. So if while it's highlighted, hit hold the control key on your keyboard and click and drag to the track above it. Uh, you can always make more tracks by going control shift and Q. Um, we don't need that track, so I'm going to delete it by highlighting it in delete, the delete key. And um, to add back the color, we're going to go to the bottom track, and we're not to color the, the rest of the video, and we're going to go hit the effects button on the clip there so we can see the effects, and this is on the bottom clip. Uh, and we're going to remove all the effects. And now it brings everything back, but it also brings the color back in the corners too. So we're going to go to the black and white effect and we're going to grab 100% black and white, click and drag that to the video on the bottom. And now when we watch it back, the frame rate's a little stuttery. Um, this MP4 isn't super good of an MP4. So we're going to go to auto here, decompose it just a little bit to, to smooth it out gonna watch this in this this video back now you can see the entire thing is in black and white with just the red apples highlighted so that is color pop and color uh, desaturation um, the color selective color uh, in movie studio 17 platinum Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you're interested in buying the software or a newbie looking for new tutorials, all sorts of stuff, there is all sorts of links in the description that will help you out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.